Today we're gonna to be setting up your first Gemini gem. This is a reusable space and project area inside Google's Gemini where you can give it a lot of information, a lot of context, special instructions for things that you do over and over in your business to get better results from AI rather than just a random old prompt that you stick into ChatGPT. Hey, I'm Craig Hewitt, I'm doing 100 days of AI, 100 days of videos just like this showing you how to use the latest and greatest AI tools, frameworks, and methodologies. And today it's all about Gemini. So I've been pretty hot on the Gemini train recently because I think it's gonna be the future of AI at work. And today is no exception. We're exploring the concept of gems inside Gemini. So if you used ChatGPT, you might know the concept of like a GPT, right? This is a place where you have a bunch of information, you upload a bunch of docs, you give it a bunch of examples, you have really special instructions. You might even have like what we'd call a system prompt. Claude has a similar thing, they call it projects. And in Gemini, they call it gems. Uh, so inside Gemini here, you open up the menu and over here on the left, it has gems. Uh, they have a couple that Google has created already and we're gonna create one of our own. So we're gonna call this Craig's email writer. And we're gonna give it instructions. And you know what, for the instructions, I'm gonna cheat a little bit and use ChatGPT. I find ChatGPT actually is really good for uh, writing prompts. Okay, so here I've said, create a system prompt for a Gemini gem to create an email writing service for me. The email should sound exactly like me and use the frameworks language, tone, and POV as the example doc I attach to the gem. So I just find ChatGPT to be good at creating pretty good system prompts. If I was really gonna go hard at this, I would use this the prompt optimizer uh, by OpenAI. And I like ChatGPT because it knows everything about me. We've talked about this in the past, the unlimited context and memory of ChatGPT is, is a total game winner. And if anybody ever beats this, I probably would drop ChatGPT because otherwise I find it pretty mid. Um, okay, but but this is because it knows everything about me, it knows what I do, it knows that I'm creating 100 days of AI, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna copy this. And these are the instructions, right? So the instructions are like a mega prompt. It's a system prompt because it's always gonna do this thing. That's where we really wanna spend the time to make sure this is awesome. Uh, okay, so I've done this. Uh, and so now let's attach some knowledge to this. I'm gonna upload from Google Drive. Again, Gemini, Google, seamlessly integrated. I'm gonna upload this from Google Drive. I just have one of these, but in a gem, you can have up to 10 project documents uh, for it to reference. Cool. And the thing I'm uploading is a bunch of emails from a kind of coach of coaches, and his name is Taki Moore. Uh, and he's been right emailing me every day for a year. So I have a whole bunch of his emails. I exported them from Google into a spreadsheet, and that's what this is. Cool. Okay, so we have a name, we have instructions, and we have a lot of knowledge here. Great. Okay, so uh, this has been created, and now let's give it a prompt. And the prompt is write an email for my 30-day AI accelerator program that talks about the importance of context engineering in LLMs and especially GPTs or agents. Cool, so what it's doing right now is it's referencing that big old huge prompt that we put in and all of the examples. And so this is like taking a really simple prompt like this and then attaching all that other stuff to it. So if you have something that you do over and over that has a ton of context and a ton of knowledge, just create you a gem or create you a GPT or create you a cloud project uh, and, and you'll be much better off. The thing I like specifically about gems and cloud projects because they're really, really similar is they're flexible. So they have all the context and they have the instructions, but you can do different things with them. Whereas I view a GPT as I always do the exact same thing. Cool, so uh, your AI is a brilliant lazy intern. Stop blaming the model. If you're getting generic useless trash from GPT-4, problem isn't AI, it's you. Right, this is a pretty good email. This is a pretty good email. Like, would I use this to email you? Maybe, <laughs> if I'm honest, maybe. Like, I, so my workflow is I would take something like this, I would put it in a Google Doc, and I would massage a little bit. I would also probably give it more than just this. I would maybe uh, use Super Whisper, which I'm gonna do a whole video on, but it's a way to talk to your computer. Uh, and I would give it a you know, a minute long monologue of what I want to talk about, which would be 
you know, paragraphs probably. Um, so, but anyways, this is how you set up a gem in Gemini. So if you're just still starting from scratch every time you're using AI, you're just making more work for yourself and you're kind of missing the boat because the result you get isn't gonna be as good as loading up all that context like we did with the examples and the super long prompt. So um, this is this is advanced AI usage. So uh, if you want more like this, I do have a free 30-day AI accelerator email course. The link is in the description below and it takes you from that kind of casual chat GPT user to a power user. I call it AI forward leader because that's what we all have to be. If we're gonna survive the next two years and prosper in our careers as founders and entrepreneurs and executives, we gotta get really good at this stuff. And that's what I'm on a mission to, to do and to help and teach you. And I'm delivering this as a starter via email. I have further things if you wanna check them out on the website, but this is a really great place to start. If you're like, this is cool, I want more. The next step is the free 30 day AI accelerator uh, course. Links in the description below. I'm Craig Hewitt. This is 100 Days of AI. If you've enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, smash the bell, and I'll see you tomorrow.